So I'm starting with a fresh face. Like I washed off all my makeup and I washed my face and everything. I haven't put any lotion or primer on just cause what I'm gonna do later, I think that might affect the quality of what I'm putting on my face. So we're just gonna go with it. Okay, so here we go. Holy shit. So here I'm just going in with an Elmer's glue stick and gluing my brows down. Wow! Shut your glue eyebrow hair ass. For the first layer of glue, it's important that you comb your eyebrow hairs in the same direction, so that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> I look like the Grinch. <laughs> And then making sure to wipe away any excess glue, um, just so that it doesn't affect anything later. And now we wait for it to dry. And then here I'm just taking a powder puff and powdering my brows just to set everything and make sure everything is uh, dry, I guess. And then brushing away the excess. And now we start painting. Um, I'm just taking a black uh, pencil liner and mapping out my new eyelid. It's a little bit higher than where my regular eyelid is. Um, so it's right above my natural crease. And here I'm taking a Maybelline cover stick in off-white um, to cancel out the skin tone on my eyes and kind of give it a base for when I put my eyeshadows on. And then I'm just taking my finger and blending all of that out, making sure it's nice and smooth. And then setting it with the white shade from the Metal Matte Palette from Kat Von D. Then from the same Metal Matte Palette, I am taking the gray tone and blending that out on my crease. Um, if we're being honest, I'm probably using, using excuse me, the wrong brush to do this. But let's just pretend that I know what I'm doing and ignore that fact. Wow, this looks awful. <laughs> Ignoring how black swan this really looks, we're just going to power through and keep blending on the outsides of the new lid. I'm hoping that this is one of those instances where it just looks worse before it gets better. And then here I'm just taking the black shade from the same metal matte palette and blending it into the crease, kind of giving it a little uh, diffused effect, if you know what I mean. <laughs> And then this is where my troubles really start. I don't know what I did wrong. It might be the products that I used or I don't know what. But the face makeup for this look was so awful and it took so much finessing. Um, but I used the cover stick that I used on my eyelid as a base and here I'm blending that out and trying to like cancel out my skin tone I guess is what I thought I was doing. And then I went in with the Ellie Girl White Foundation. And I don't know, maybe I should have set the cover stick before putting this on, but it just it's just going to be miserable. You'll see later. Someone Whoa, I look tan. Because here you're going to see, no matter what I do, when I go to try to set the foundation, it just rips off the color. And you see my skin tone starting to peek through. Like I went through the powder puff and a couple different brushes, and it just like rips off the layers. And then into <laughs> part of the Oh movie. my god. But I decided not to give up. Continuing on, I'm taking the same gray eyeshadow that I used in my crease and using that to contour my face in the regular places that you go and contour, like your forehead, your uh, under your cheekbone, your jawline, and yeah. And the same thing with your nose. I, with your nose, with my nose, I'm taking the same gray color and contouring out and then making sure to blend as much as I can. And then continuing with the eyes, I'm taking the same gray shade and blending that in the outer corner and then putting the silver shade in the middle and inner. And then taking the black shade, I'm going in and darkening my crease, making sure that it's a little bit more balanced. Now we get to the fun part where it starts to come together a little bit. I'm taking the pink Vivid Brights eyeliner from NYX and starting out a nice little wing. 
a nice little wing. It's going to be big. And then taking a black eyeliner, also from NYX, and filling in the rest of my wing. When it comes to eyeliner, patience is key. Take your time. You will get it right. <laughs> Now here, because you can never have enough pink, I'm taking that eyeliner again and cutting into the crease, kind of giving it a little accent mark and, you know, just building that up. And then our problems continue. I think I put my brows too high. One guy. Um, I don't have a lot of footage of me working on my brows because honestly... It was just like one wrong move after the other. It's pretty self-explanatory. I try to do an ombre eyebrow. And yeah, so I'm not going to really explain what I did because it was just like a happy mistake at the end. <laughs> and then jumping back to the nose, I'm taking a white concealer, concealer and uh, highlighting the bridge of my nose and the tip. Um, it's all about preference, I guess, when it comes to noses with, uh, drag. So, I don't know, I just did what I thought I should do. <laughs> and then just applying some mascara. I completely forgot to put on false lashes, so that's a fail. I'm so sorry about that one, but you live, you learn. And then just balancing out the eyes, doing the same thing that I did to the crease on the lower lash line to darken that up a little bit. And then taking some white liquid eyeliner and lining my waterline. And now taking some mascara, I'm applying it to my lower lash line. And then I'm going to draw some little lashes in just to add a little accent. You know, Twiggy style. <laughs> and then it's time for hearts. So for the hearts, it's pretty self-explanatory. You want to... Take your time with this so that you don't mess up or smudge anything and make sure that you're having a steady hand. Um, that's why you have to be patient or else you'll have like a bunch of little wiggly hearts. And then for the rest of the hearts, you kind of want to vary in size to give it a little bit more of a random look. I think it looks cuter that way. I don't know. I guess it's about preference. But that's what I did. Um, did a bunch of hearts in varying sizes and in different directions. And then I sped up the rest just so that you guys can see me working on them. I don't know. <laughs> and now taking some black liquid lipstick from NYX. I think it's the suede one. I'm applying that onto my lips. My face doesn't move over here. <laughs> You better work, bitch. Okay, I'm gonna put on my wig now. Yes. I put on two wig caps and I sped up the process of putting on my wig because I'm still a beginner. I had to struggle with it a little bit and then concealed my hairline. And then we're all finished, guys. I'm feeling my alt. <laughs> Well, alright guys, that is the finished look. Um, I keep looking at the viewfinder, so I'm sorry about that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to try this out, you know, like, I'm tired of holding myself back. I'm being afraid of outcomes and stuff like that. And I think going into being 21, I want to do more of what makes me happy. So, hope you guys are in support of that. Um... Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!